What is going on? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the kitchen. Uh, today we're going to be doing a little bit of unboxing, but more importantly we're going to be doing a little tasting. So uh, I bought some new hot sauces. Uh, if you know me, I do like to experiment with stuff uh, on food. So um, I would say in the last year, two years, I really um, have been trying more and more hot sauces, bring flavors into uh, certain things. and there's such a wide variety of hot sauces that um, they're not just hot there there's a lot of good stuff out there uh, me personally I would say on the upper threshold of things I enjoy it was probably around the 50,000 Scoville uh, level above that obviously I could do it um, I've had stuff in the multi-million the two million plus mark it's not enjoyable it's super hot it's um, just burns your mouth and your lips and everything else um, but in that 50,000 range, it's, it's, uh, it's hot. It's definitely hot to me, um, but it's not burning my face off and I can still taste everything. I get a runny nose, maybe a watery eye here and there, but what I would enjoy on the daily is probably sub 5,000, um, stuff like Louisiana or Cholula, st stuff like that. That's very mild. All right, so what we got going on in here is a bunch of old hot sauces. As you can see here, I got a whole drawer of them, whole mess. These uh, wood caps, these are all Cholula, uh, a bunch of different flavors. I'd say probably green pepper and chipotle are probably my favorite. Uh, an original is good. I'm, oh, I'm pretty low on that. Need to restock. The other ones are okay. They're not the best. They're just all right. Uh, Bravado Spice, the company we're going to be opening up some stuff for. That's one of their uh, samples there, Pineapple Habanero. This is awesome on a lot of different things. Um, in the back we're hiding, we got the Classic, which is Heat Nest. I haven't used a ton of it. Um, it's alright, it's not my favorite. It's pretty low on the Scoville scale, it's not very spicy. It's like 1700, so it's to me it's like a little bit spicier ketchup but not really anything crazy. This is the other one from them, Los Calientes. This is 49,000 Scoville. So this is up in the upper threshold of what I like. Uh, you can see I use quite a bit of it, but you don't need a lot. So this goes a longer way than something that doesn't have a lot of spice. Actually, speaking of ketchup, I got this stuff. Um, I'm not sure what it, it's, gooch, gochiking, gochukang, I don't know. It's like Korean, um, ketchup is basically how it was explained to me. I used that to make some kimchi earlier in the year. Um, these are pretty decent. Tattoo. Uh, avocado Serrano is my favorite one of the three that I have. I got some sweet aardvark in the back. It's pretty spicy. It's good though. Uh, Melinda's. Just got these not too long ago. Dropped this one not long ago and busted the cap off, unfortunately. Uh, haven't got to use these on much. These to me are a hot wing sauce. They're not they're not the greatest to me on just like putting on a taco or anything. I, I don't prefer those. Um, speaking of hot wing though, this is my absolute favorite. I'll go through a couple bottles of this a year. Um, this plus butter, you saute it up a little bit after you do your wings. I do mine in the air fryer and then I toss them in this. Perfect, I love that stuff. So let's get back to the uh, boxes and see what I got ordered up and uh, we'll go from there. The first one we're going to open up is from Heatnest. It is a three pack, it is a combo, uh, including their newest release uh, sauce, which I'm very excited for. Um, haven't ordered a combo pack from them before, just individual bottles, so I'm not exactly, exactly sure how this comes. Um, it is in a box, but uh, I guess we'll get right to that and uh, see what we got. says stay spicy hopefully not too too spicy but we'll see here it says heat mist on the inside oh cool got some stickers which I didn't realize that those came in here but uh, first one is heat mist Purveyors of fine hot sauces, as you can see there. And then the second one is the 
Hot Wings logo, which is awesome. I love this. I probably would have bought this if I knew they had it, but I'm glad I glad I didn't now because I got it. Add that to my sticker collection. That's a whole nother thing. I got a ton of stickers. I don't know why I like stickers. I got a ton of them. I don't put them on anything. I just like collecting them. But this is my three pack of sauces. Let me get these things in a orientation that you can see. There we go. Let's flip this one around so you can actually see it. So we got the Nugget Honey, the Classic, and the Los Calientes Rojo. So I have the original Los Calientes in there, which is what you saw. Um, so again, this is a 49,000 Scoville uh, hot sauce. It says heat level, five out of 10. So this is middle of the road for them. Um, I would say that's probably right because obviously the upper threshold of stuff isn't something I enjoy. I can do it, but I don't enjoy it. Um, but this, I think I will enjoy. I think uh, this will be good. I tend to like the green sauces better, so I might like this is obviously more of like a red pepper tomato base, I'm assuming. The other one's green pepper, I'm assuming. Um, I'm thinking I'll like the green one better. Um, this, I'll have to look into the order, but I believe that this was supposed to be not this sauce. So they make two classics. They have this one, which is the one I have in the fridge already. And then they have another one that's new and it's a blue label and it's their garlic version, which is what I believe this was supposed to have. So I think this order's messed up, but we'll check into that. Um, if it's not, not a big deal. I'll just have to use it more often. Um, I was really hoping to get the blue one though, because I like garlic. And then this is what I am super excited for, which is the nugget honey. It's honey infused with pepper X. So this is a hot honey sauce. Uh, inside of the box says, enjoy your hot sauce made with love in small batches for a spicy life. Yeah, stay, hashtag stay spicy. I don't have to remember that. But uh, overall, cool so far. Again, this is the one I'm super excited about. This is their new product. Um, let's see what it says. For hot ones, sweetest offering yet, American Craft Gin is infused with tantalizing dose of pepper X before being blended into pure alfalfa honey from the Wind River Valley of Montana. It's perfect on tender morsels of fried chicken. Nugget honey also transforms pizza, cocktails, desserts into elevated treats for the senses. And on the back it says try it with a chicken leg it's got a pizza a martini and a ice cream and it has level heat level four out of ten so this should be pretty hot actually pepper x i'm not sure if i had anything with pepper x i might have because i had their um last dab and I, I think that has pepper x in it um but i guess we'll see i'm gonna start with the um the other ones first. I'm not gonna open this just in case I need to return it and I already have one, so there's no sense in opening this one. I'm just gonna set that aside. I am gonna start with the Los Calientes Rojo though. It smells just like the other Los Calientes, which is not too shocking, because it is the same mixture, but um, obviously it should be a little different because it is red versus green. Let me see what this bottle says first. It says, Hot Ones is a show where celebrities divulge their deepest secrets into eating progressively hotter wings. The middle of the lineup is where the hot sauce magic happens. This perfect sweet spot uh, between flavor and pleasing heat, Los Calientes Rojo is a slightly spicier than its green cousin, balancing flavors of smoked red jalapenos, sweet apricot, slathered on chicken, burritos, eggs, etc. Okay, so this they're saying this is a little bit hotter, and this is at 49,000 Scovilles. So that other one, I'm not sure what the Scoville rating is. I know this one's at 49,000. Obviously, it's right in that same range. 
Um, this should be all right, though. This should be all right for me. I'm going to shake it up. I just had some red jalapenos uh, not too long ago. It's delicious. I had I didn't even know there was a thing. I didn't know that uh, they could be made red, but I guess it's just um, they're not fully ripened. They're uh, before they turn green, they're red. I didn't know that. Uh, had some uh, stuffed jalapenos with you know just cheese and I think they were bacon wrapped. But anyway, they were delicious. So I'm just gonna put a little dab of this on here it smells good it smells like um, how I want my tacos to smell essentially it's like a spicy taco it is not immediately hot it is hot now it is sweet at first and then it's um, and it's like a wave of heat. I'm getting on the, like on the sides of my tongue. It's pretty good though. Yeah, this is the definitely the upper threshold of what I would want to eat on anything. Um, a lot of this would probably bit make my nose run and stuff. That right there is fine with me. Um, I'm good with that. So score one. It's good stuff. And next up, we got the nugget honey. I'm gonna pop the lid off this one. No shaking required. Put this in there. It smells like regular honey. Doesn't have any hint of hot to me, although I don't have the best nose in town, so. Not the best judge on what uh, smells good or doesn't. I'm actually gonna take some water, see if. See if I can clean my mouth out a little before I try this. I do have a bunch of other sauces heading up after this, so we'll see. Still. Got a little on my nose. Still no smell of heat. It's uh, pretty thick honey. Oh, it's spicy. Yeah, it's very sweet as honey is. Um, takes a little bit for it to roll in it's there that's good I cannot wait to use this when I saw the commercial for this or uh, there was something about this that basically said if you like it was an ad that's what it was if you like uh, dipping your nuggets as a kid in honey and stuff like that uh, you would love this and immediately I was like that's me I didn't know if anybody else actually did that I don't know how I came about doing that but as a kid, if I ever had McDonald's, I would always get chicken nuggets and fries, and I dipped both of them in honey. And to this day, I will still do that. I don't eat McDonald's hardly at all. Maybe, maybe a couple times a year. It's not high up on my list of things to eat. Um, but if I do, I generally will get chicken nuggets and honey, and I'll dip them in there, and then the fries I'll dip in there. Very good. Very happy I got that. Next up, we have Rivado Spice Company. So uh, this one, this one's gonna be a little two-parter. Um, we can't try all of this today, and you'll see why in a minute. But I expect nothing but good things out of this. All right. Sadly, no stickers in this box that I can see. Huh. Would, wouldn't mind getting a few, though. Alright, so we got three boxes in here. Set those aside first. Oh. 
this is the bundle I got from them. This is a, a collection of sauces. It isn't the one I wanted uh, initially. Um, the one I wanted, or the ones I wanted, had a specific sauce. They have a blueberry ghost pepper sauce that I've been um, itching to try. I think it would be um, it would be very good on I don't know, a range of things, um, whatever you like, sweet and hot on. Uh, but I want to try it on something breakfasty, being that it's blueberry. This has got four bottles in it. It says, here you go, hot stuff. So there we go. That's our uh, range of sauces there. Undeniably bold. It says, pull this card. Hold this out. Oh, speaking of the devil, look at that. A sticker and a magnet. It's like they read my mind. That's awesome. Really appreciate that, guys. In fact, that's going to go right on the fridge right now. And then, looks like I got some recipe cards. Oh, this is awesome. So, it's one recipe card for each of the four sauces. So it gives you a good starting point um, on something to do with the sauces. That's awesome. I will try definitely that one. I can, eh, not a big pork belly fan. First one was huevos rancheros. Definitely love that. I order that at restaurants uh, often for dinner. Braised pork belly. I don't, I don't mind it, but I doubt I would cook it. Um, Pork belly for me has just got too much fat. I'm just not, I, I don't like just chewing on fat, um, like rib tips and stuff. I would rather have regular ribs than rib tips. Um, 40 clove chicken. Uh, <laughs> literally has 40 cloves of garlic in here, which seems excessive, but I love it. I do love garlic. And then spicy poke, which I've never made anything sushi related or raw fish related. Uh, it's a little concerning for me. Uh, I do love sushi, but me making it makes it a little different. I would definitely have to go to a reputable store. Obviously, I'm not just going to use any tuna off the street, as they would say, um, to do that. So, uh, open this guy up and see what we got for sauces. First one is jalapeno and green apple. Quite an interesting combination. Um, that was one of the ones that sold me on this because it's so weird that I was like, I gotta try this. Um, it says it's mild, it's two out of five chilies. So this one should be no problem. Um, for reference, the one that I do have that I do eat is uh, three, it's three out of five. So this one I'm totally fine with. So I know that that one I will be good with. This next one is the Crimson Hot Sauce. It's three out of five. So again, it should be warm, but nothing too crazy. Black Garlic Carolina Reaper. Now, this is where things take a turn. So it, <laughs> it not only has five on there, but they're flames. So it went from chili peppers to flames. That concerns me a little bit. Um, but I love black garlic. Um, if you never had black garlic, you need to get some or make some. It's just uh, take a clove or like a whole, you know, whatever. Cut it in half and you, you roast it. It's so good. Actually, uh, I just used some yesterday. McCormick makes this black garlic salt. So delicious. It's really sticky. As you can see, the garlic is really sticky. Um, it's pretty salty because it is a salt. It's a garlic salt. This is delicious, though. If you've got to put garlic on anything, it says aged 90 days on here. Um, it is so good. I actually have two of these because I, I was going through them quickly. Uh, delicious, if you can find it. And lastly, we have 
aka miso i don't know maybe that's aka miso ghost reaper so it's guessing it's ghost pepper and reaper pepper um so this one is labeled as blazing with the five flames and this one is five flames it says extremely spicy I don't think I'm gonna enjoy this this will obviously be the last this is gonna this isn't gonna be good for me although I do like miso flavor so there's a sliver of hope that this will work out for me that's it for this box um, let me open up these other two boxes, show you what I got, and then we'll get into uh, tasting these um, from mildest to hottest. These, these are gonna be good. These are kind of a little surprise as well. Uh, not for myself, but for someone else that I'm definitely going to share them with. Margarita mixes. These are gonna be good. Spicy margarita mixes. If you've never had a spicy margarita, you are missing out. I uh, got introduced to it by accident at Chili's, I wanna say, of all places. They put jalapeno slices in their uh, margarita and it is delicious. It, it just takes it up a little notch and adds a, a flavor level that is so good. We do it all the time when we make we don't make margaritas we get the kirkland pre-mixed you put some slices in there you're done you throw some slices in you top it off with the kirkland some ice you're good we got pineapple jalapeno it says it's refreshing i believe that i definitely believe that would be refreshing uh, made in texas gluten-free yada yada this is 11 serve this is not 11 servings i don't know who it says three ounces. Oh, is this got, does this already have alcohol in it? If it does, that would be, nope, it says you gotta pour tequila in a glass. So yeah, I thought this was just a regular margarita mix. It is. Um, three ounces, that does not seem like enough for a drink. Cause you got, if you got an ounce for a shot, three ounces of this, that's only four ounces. That's like a, that's like a, a large shot so it says pour over uh, some ice add three ounces stir garnish enjoy succulent pineapple and fresh juiced jalapeno come together to create the ultimate margarita mix this delicious concoction is perfect for sharing I will share this and it will be enjoyed this one I know is gonna be good because we have we do jalapenos in ours already the pineapple the sweetness It'll probably be all right. This one is a little bit out there. Ruby red grapefruit. Um, these don't have a uh, like a spice rating on them like the uh, the other stuff does. It just it just is what it is. Hopefully it has some good flavor to it. Uh, Bold citrus blend of ruby grapefruit uh, unite in this cocktail. Mix perfectly. Uh, it's tart with a kiss of sweetness. Step up your margarita game. Drink responsibly. Team Bravado. Cool. These are going to be good. Don't know when I'm going to try those out, but hopefully sooner than later. All right. So first thing I'm going to grab is, I already got them within reach, a napkin. Make sure got everything already off my face Whew. a little bit scared of these two I'm not gonna lie uh, I'm not a big fan of burning my face off but uh, 
hopefully they taste good where I can just use those to, uh, obviously I'm not just going to eat those things raw uh, like I am today. I will be putting it into something. Um, but this one I could definitely see if it's good putting it in a taco or something like that. The green apple is really what throws me through a loop here. I've, I've never even really heard of apple, spicy apple anything. I've never had the spiciest thing the apple I've ever come in contact with is whiskey. Um, you know, you get some some of that winter. Oh, it smells good. Um, I lost my train of thought there. <laughs> when you're mixing up some stuff in the fall, you know, you got the apple, cinnamon, stuff like that with whiskey, bourbon. This smells really good. You can smell its sweetness and it. it's not just it's just not, it's not just the heat that you get from the from the smell of it it smells really good it says granny smith apples blended with our uh with only the freshest peppers and garlic this isn't your typical green sauce this is a game changer uh vinegar white vinegar jalapenos green apple poblano garlic and sea salt poblano is one of my favorite peppers actually um I get uh, Chili's Reinos all the time. Pretty much every Mexican place around here, I've had their Chili's Reinos. Um, not, not because uh, I like eating healthy and all that stuff like that, although they aren't that healthy because they're deep fried with a egg batter and stuff like that. But they're not a big slab of meat like I'm normally eating. But uh, the peppers and the cheese, the stuffed pepper basically, so good, as long as you take the seeds out. If you leave the seeds in there, it's just laziness. You're just slicing it open, putting some cheese in. You, you got to get the seeds out. You, you don't want to eat half a pepper and then the other is a half with a mouthful of seeds buried in the cheese. It's just not good. Anyway, put a little sauce on here. It is mildly thick. It's about the thickness of like applesauce. It's not, it, it coats the spoon pretty good, but it's not, uh, not insane. Let's see there. Again, it smells delicious. It has a consistency of applesauce. Yeah, you can definitely taste that. Right up front, again, like the other ones, the sweetness comes in first, and uh, and then the heat rolls in after it. Uh, pretty mild heat, um, I guess, for myself. Some people would probably call it hot. If I had a lot of it, I would probably consider it hot. Like ratio wise if you put a spoon of this like on a small taco it might it might end up being hot if you eat a few of them very good though i don't know what i'm going to use it on probably probably just tacos i think i'm going to make some barbacoa tomorrow so this stuff might be getting used up faster than i imagined Next in the lineup, we got the Crimson Hot Sauce. Again, this is a three pepper medium. It says it's a blend of red jalapenos and arbol chilies. This sauce is bursting with flavor from tacos to noodles. Crimson Hot Sauce is the new standard. That's what I like to hear right there because I like tacos and I like noodles. Smells, smells good, like most. Um, this is very, ooh, I'm gonna pour some of that back in there. It's very thin, a very thin sauce. It came running out. You can see there, I put quite a bit on there. I don't know a way to explain this one. It's, uh, oh, it smells like peppers, right? It smells like, it smells like red jalapenos. But it smells pretty mild. It smells like a spicier version of Louisiana. All right. It's got a lot of um, vinegar in it. It's because it's so thin, it kind of runs away off your mouth right away. First ingredient is white vinegar. Uh, very, it's, it's hot after that though. The first immediate thing though I get is uh, vinegar and then I get the peppers. 
it's not a bad flavor. Um, definitely a good, um, I could see using that in place of chula. So like on eggs or hash browns, tacos, it's definitely a good all around uh, sauce. Not too crazy. All right, so here's where, here's where we start turning a, a turn the corner. This is gonna get. I think this is gonna get worse before it gets any better. Black Garlic Carolina, Carolina Reaper. The world's hottest pepper. It's not how I want to start things off. Savory black garlic and a hint of sweet maple. This hot sauce will shake you to your core. Brace yourself. Alright. Oh, although eating this like this is much different than eating this on something. You put this on a hot wing, you put a dab of it on there, even toss some in there. It's going to be much milder when you're consuming it with a vehicle of sort to bring it down than just straight off a spoon. So the consistency of this one, which I'm going to check this now because that last one was pretty runny, is uh, fairly thin as well. So I'm not going to be as generous as I was last time. Although I say that now, I've got a pretty good chunk on here. It has a very distinct flavor. It's garlicky. It smells, it smells pretty good. I'm not going to lie. It smells... If someone asked me how hot I thought this is off a of smell, I wouldn't say it's that hot. Here we go. Give it a shot. Strange. Oh, it's hot. <coughs> it's hot. Um, hard to explain. It's strange. Serrano, Carolina Reaper, roasted garlic, maple, black garlic, black pepper, sea salt. Ooh, it's hot. It's building. The heat on my tongue is, is building. My mouth is fine. But my tongue is hot. It's on fire. My lips are still good. still burning it's building I can get the vinegar now it's like hitting me back here my nose is starting to run Whew, shouldn't take in so much Whew. well at this point I'm not going to be able to taste this one a lot. <laughs> wow, it's hot. I wonder if I can get the skull bills on that. I'll look it up and see if I can. If I can, I'll put it down in the description if I can get all the stuff on these. It's got a lingering heat. The other ones were a little bit spicy and then they were gone. All right, undeniably bold. Blazing hot chilies meet savory miso to create the perfect umami bomb. Bunkle up, you're in for a wild ride. I do not want to try this. But, I kind of have to. It is thick. It 
This one is going to be a very slight dab. I probably took way too much of that other stuff. That's all I'm doing with this. Hard to smell right now, honestly. My senses are all jacked up. Uh. All right, here we go. Starting to, starting to calm down. <clears throat> you can see my lips are getting all pink. The heat is coming like out. My lips were fine. I don't know what happened. It tastes good. It's hot. <coughs> it tasted good though. At first. It's hot. The roof of my mouth is on fire right now. That miso though. That miso is really that tasted really good. I don't know what you could put that on. Well, so far, my face is not on fire. My lips are. My tongue's getting better. The roof of my mouth is burning. This is just, oh, you know what? I licked my lips. Keep licking my lips. That's what I did. Well, that's about it. Um, I kind of want to crack these open and try these. I probably should see if it calms this down. <sighs> Screw it. Let's try it. Use a little heat to counteract the heat, maybe. Smells like grapefruit. Different. Although, could be affected from the uh, sauces. Not bad though. It does taste like grapefruit, as you would expect it. It smells like pineapple juice, like straight up pineapple juice. As expected, that's pretty good. Very sweet. Gonna need ice to cool, uh, not cool, but thin those out. <clears throat> I'd say that about does it. It's uh, <sighs> man. All right, so we're good. Uh, can't wait to make some wings with these. Gonna do a little sampler. Probably gonna do our own little uh, hot one show. Break out all these sauces, lay them all out, eat them up, and burn our faces off. But for now, I guess all I gotta say is um, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think in the the comments. You know want to see more of this um, not necessarily eating hot sauce but testing stuff out if you guys got some stuff you want me to try out let me know 
might be willing to go get some of it and uh, try it out for you guys. Uh, you know, I got the Traeger out back. I got the Weber. I love smoking. I love grilling. I love cooking. I'm attempting to start baking, so um, we'll get into all that stuff, and uh, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.